Now then, guys, I have been asked several times, Sam, we know you've got a, a video out on clay bar and how to do it, but can you do us one more? Well, of course I can. So let's take this volunteer truck here. It just happens to be mine. And even people with products out there, even mine sometimes need a clay bar treatment. So how do we know they need it? Well, after you've washed it, and that's what's been done here, after you've got this washed off here, you take you the old standby Walmart bag. Now, the clay bar is free. It's the bag is expensive. $20. No, just kidding. Just kidding. So you take this bag and where you... Now, that feels decent. Take your bag. Put your hand in it. All them bumpy places you feel on that, apart from the paint chips, but all them bumpy places... That simply tells you that there's some contaminants stuck to the surface. It won't come off through regular wash. So, what do we do? Glad you ask. We take our standard 100 gram clay bar here and some clay lube. And I like to do mine in linear front to back. And what you're going to do is this. You're just going to give a little wet here, a little bit to your surface, and do it in a linear fashion. And you'll hear, you'll hear the, as it's making it, as you're doing it, you'll hear the noise of it taking the contaminants off your surface. And generally speaking, it's the most topical surfaces as the ones that have the most on it. There'll be some on the side, but not that much. Now, once you've got an area done, and I use the extra fine clay bar. These clay bars, they're not required to, but they generally run in standard colors, meaning the extra fine and the fine is usually kind of in a white or a gray looking look to it. And the rougher they go, different colors. And the roughest is usually a red. Now, I, I don't, I shy away from using a red because usually it does more damage than it does good. You wind up with a bunch of scratches and you have to take the scratches back out later. Well, let's take this off here first. So why create work for yourself? You don't want to do that. And with that done, So you got your bag. Now everybody's got two or three of these things laying around. <laughs> I know you can't feel it there with me on the thing, but it is gone. And that's what you want. You're saying, well, why you got to have that off? Okay. Depending on if you're going to put a spray wax or a cream wax or any whatever solution you're going to put on it. It can be ceramic, whatever. You want that surface to be down to the clear coat because... The treatments you're getting ready to do to it now needs to adhere to the clear coat. So this surface we just done is ready now for whatever you're going to do, be it ceramic, uh, spray wax, uh, just regular paste wax, cream wax, whatever you're going to put on there for your preservative, for your longevity. But I will say that just a regular spray wax, Mr. Sam's spray wax, I mean, is good for about four or five drive-through washings. Now, I'm not a big advocate of the drive-through washings on it, the brush types on it, because, man, them things get to slapping on your vehicle, and after a while it causes a lot of light scratches in it, Then you got to come back and take them out. Well, you can't do that too many times or you run out of clear coat. But anyway, this is my pet peeve of mine. Now then, this surface here is ready. That will conclude the one for your 100-gram your 100 clay bar, your clay lube, and, in that, and, and I sell that in a package. And it's got a nice towel in there with it. And you will, if you've got your own towel and you're just buying an a la carte piece on it, just make sure it's a good towel. And if it's a towel, then start doing scratches onto your surface. Other than that, you're ready to go.